up and welcome back to It Go YouTube channel. I'm so excited because tomorrow is Milo's birthday and she's going to be turning one. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a dog cake. So Milo's going to really enjoy this and I can just hear her nose sniffing away all the ingredients that are in it. So let's begin. So the first thing we need to do is let go of Milo because she will end up eating it raw. She's sitting down, she's like, give me cake. So the first thing we need to do is grease the cake pan. So we've got coconut oil and a little spreader. So you put plenty of oil just so that it doesn't stick. Plenty in the circle thing in my bobby as well. Because if this sticks, then we'll have to make a new one. And then, that will just be a nightmare if it's stuck, stuck. All right, so I think this is enough oil. So we'll set that aside. So now let's go through the ingredients for the cake. So first we have one cup of gluten-free flour. We also have one teaspoon of baking powder. A quarter of a cup of coconut oil. One egg. A third of a cup of honey. A quarter of a cup of pumpkin. A quarter of a cup of applesauce. And a quarter of a cup of peanut butter. Then we just have one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we also have the icing ingredients, which are half a cup of Greek yogurt and a quarter of a cup of peanut butter. So we'll set those aside for when the cake is in the oven. So first off, we have our dry ingredients with our sifter, just to make sure that, you know, everything is sifted and it's nice. So we're gonna start off by putting in our cup of gluten-free flour. And we'll sift that. So, cause this is taking a while, I'm just gonna bring in the spoon. I'm just gonna, that's just gonna help me sift it faster. All right, so all of our flour is now sifted and now it's time to put in the baking powder. So we'll sift that too. It's not as hard to sift because it's pretty much already sifted. And that is already done. So now we'll move on to the wet ingredients. So we'll put this ball away and bring in the big one. Okay, so let's first add in our coconut oil. So we'll put that in. Okay. That's good. I'll just wipe that on the side. It's gonna drip. And now we'll put in our egg. Now it's time for our honey. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, I love honey. Now, time for the pumpkin. That's easy. all over my hands. Our apple sauce. And beat that again. Our peanut butter. It's coming out. bit 
of vanilla extract. Okay, so now we have to beat it with our hand stand mixer. mixer. So you put it on number one oh. and stir it around. done so I just beaded it for about like five ten seconds so now we have to put that in the sink because that is not allowed on the kitchen counter all right so now what we have to do is you have to add the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and before that I am going to wipe my hand because it is pumpkin fried okay so I have my spoon I'll put this in the wash as well And we'll add this, oh that looks like snow, that looks so good. Put that in here, and then we'll stir them both together. Oh, it feels so weird mixing them. Alrighty, so you mix that up until it's like a batter. All right, so it's looking about done. I think it's time to put it into the cake pan. We greased this earlier, but I'm just gonna give it, actually it looks fine. All right, so we'll pour this in. Now it's one of those cake batters, like tins, that's like a donut sort of shape. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna spread this out evenly, but I have no clue how I am going to do that. Alright, so it looks about done. I've just spread it out evenly with this tiny one teaspoon. Just gonna scrape it off because Milo likes, well, hopefully she likes this cake. And I'll put these two in the sink. There we go. Now it's time to put it in the oven. So the oven has been preheated. So we'll go put it in now. Okay, so we're going to put this in the oven which is preheated for 180 degrees Celsius. And you put it in for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now to check if it's cooked or not, when it rises and you think it's ready, if it's like 20 minutes, you stab it too quick and take it out. If there's better, it's not cooked, you put it in for another 10 minutes. So let's put this in. So now that that's in the oven, I'm going to go take a break. And after, when that is cooked, we will take it out, make some icing, put it on the cake, and give it to Milo tomorrow. So I'll see you after my break. All right, so I got Milo's cake out of the oven and I let it cool down for a while. So now it is all ready to go and it actually smells super good. It smells like tiny teddies. It smells really good. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on this little plate thing. Bobby, because, you know, just some fitness going on. It's in the bin. Anyways. So we have this beautiful Milo's cake. It actually smells like so good. All right, so now we're going to put the Greek yogurt into the peanut butter. Now it's half a cup of Greek yogurt and a quarter of a cup of peanut butter. So let's put this in. That's done. So now I'm just going to plop it into the cake. So. Oh, 
just used to like get my piping thing and do some flowers on the cake. <laughs> this one doesn't look nice. That one does. Okay. So I'm just plopping this on bit by bit. I'm gonna spread it around. Alrighty, so that's all done. So there's a, some cracks, but that's fine, absolutely fine. It actually looks pretty good for a cake for a dog. So now it is time. Happy birthday for the morning. So I'm just gonna put this one here. Ta da! So this is my little happy birthday cake, and in oh my gosh, and in the morning I'm sure she is going to love it. Absolutely love it. It's just pumpkin, peanut butter, Greek yogurt, everything Milo loves. So it's nicely decorated, frosting, cake, and the cake is a really nice shape. I like that shape for cakes. So now that that's all finished, I can put these two bowls in the sink, and then hopefully when I go to bed and wake up, Milo will be happily yapping in the backyard, hopefully not yapping too loud and annoying the neighbours, but then we'll get it and we'll give it a cake. So I'll see you in the morning. All right, so it's the next morning and I'm here with my brother and sister, Cece and Jackson, and of course, my little puppy, Milo. Now, Milo has been going crazy this morning because she can just smell the cake and she is so ready to eat it. So, before she does, we're going to sing her a happy birthday. On three guys. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Milo. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. <laughs> Good job. All right, now it's time for you to eat a slice of your cake because Milo's a little dog and that is a lot for her. She will be very fat if she ate all of that today. So I'm gonna slice her little piece and put it in her little bowl. Okay, doesn't it Milo? All right, now it's time to give it to her. Sit down. That's seriously. <laughs> it fell onto the floor. Um, well, that's gonna be a pain to clean up. And I think I'm the one responsible. Uh, okay. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as Milo enjoyed that birthday cake. Now make sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, like this video, and I'll see you on another video. Bye guys!